What's good, YouTube, and welcome to another segment of Sports Theory. The topic for today is Carmelo Anthony and how two different choices can affect his life greatly. Let's look at his resume. He won the NCAA championship being the most outstanding player, all-rookie first team, four times in the NBA third team, two times in the all-NBA second team, scoring champion, and a seven-time all-star. When it's all said and done, Carmelo Anthony is a guaranteed Hall of Famer. However, with his situation with free agency, he has two choices, either stay in New York or leave New York to a team that seems to be a title contender. Many critics have said that if Carmelo Anthony stays with the New York Knicks, he is ultimately staying in for the money. If Carmelo Anthony stays with them, he's guaranteed an extra $30 million more than what other teams are offering him. In the past, when critics said that if he stays, it's all about the money, however, the tables have turned. Ever since James Dolan hired the great Phil Jackson as the president of basketball operations for the New York Knicks, it pressured Carmelo to stay. I mean, it's a trap hiring Phil Jackson, but a smart move. Even though Phil Jackson got hired, there are many questions that have arised and possible situations have unfolded that may ruin Carmelo Anthony's chances of winning a championship. First off, Carmelo Anthony doesn't want Phil Jackson to be in the front office, rather coach him. But let's say Phil Jackson does coach. He has hip problems. The man is 69 years old. That means Phil Jackson can only coach in home games. But that's stupid and unnecessary to the point they might as well hire a new coach. Now in regard to a new coach, there's many speculations that Steve Kerr is the top candidate for the job. However, the problem is Steve Kerr has never coached a basketball team. And even though he knows the triangle offense, he is no Phil Jackson. The second problem with the New York Knicks roster is comprised of Carmelo Anthony, Amari Stoudemire who has knee problems, J.R. Smith who has problems with alcohol, drugs, sending tweets to other NBA players threatening to jump them, etc. Tyson Chandler, Raymond Felton who might be the worst starting point guard in the NBA today, Tim Hardaway Jr., Iman Shumpert, Andrea Bargnani, Shannon Brown, Kenyon Martin and a bunch of others. With this roster running the triangle system, it's going to be a disaster in theory. I mean, with everyone struggling in this roster, next year they're going to be running the Bermuda triangle system. The ball is not going to move that much because they heavily depend on Carmelo Anthony scoring wise. Finally, the unknowns of the future. This season, Carmelo Anthony logged in the most minutes in his career with 38.7 minutes a game. Second in scoring behind Kevin Durant with 27.4 points per game. Best rebounding and block numbers in his career with 8.1 rebounds and 0.7 blocks. However, these stats didn't translate into wins. Last season, the New York Knicks were the 54 and 38. This season, they're 37 and 45. And they had their core group. However, without Jason Kidd and Chris Copeland. Carmelo Anthony has stated that he wants to stay, but he also wants to win. He's turning 30 very soon and his prime going to slip away. Does he stay in New York waiting two or more years to be a title contender? Or does Carmelo Anthony just leave New York? Let's start off with the timeline where Carmelo Anthony stays in New York. Phil Jackson mentions the San Antonio Spurs in an interview and how that they are not a dynasty but a consistent team that is contending every year for a championship. That means Carmelo Anthony has to wait two or more years to be a title contender. But there are so many unknowns right now like... Who's going to play in New York? For the New York Knicks fans saying that playing in Madison Square Garden for 41 games is plenty enough, that's not convincing enough to make Carmelo stay long term. The New York Knicks haven't won a championship for 40 years. Getting corner storm players like Kevin Love isn't enough. Every championship team had a solid role players like Robert Horry and Mike Miller. In this timeline entering the 2014-2015 season, the roster's not that great. Iman Shumpert was like shooting 38% from the field in the 2013-14 season, so hopes are very low. The only way I see the New York Knicks back up on their feet is the free agents of 2015-2016 season. I mean, there are a lot of solid players to get. I left a link down in the description below, but just to name a few, Rajon Rondo, Kevin Love, Aaron Aflalo, and Jeff Green. If they do not obtain great players like I just mentioned during the 2015-2016 free agency season, they're done. Carmelo Anthony hopes of winning a championship is diminished because his prime years of playing basketball is going to be over soon. 
Rajon Rondo, Carmelo Anthony, and Kevin Love together would do wonders for the city of New York. In theory, a starting lineup that consisted of Rondo, Iman Shumpert, or Tim Hardaway Jr. as shooting guard, Carmelo, Love, and Chandler. That would be a true title contender for years to come. Now let's look at a timeline where Carmelo Anthony decides to leave New York. New York Knicks fans, it's not betrayal if Carmelo Anthony decides to leave New York. I mean, fans ultimately use basketball players for entertainment, and there's nothing wrong with that because basketball is an enjoyable sport to watch. However, this is a human being's future and basketball is Carmelo's life. The ultimate achievement for any basketball player is to win a championship, and being deprived of that leaves a gaping hole in a player's hearts for the rest of their lives. Let's look at Carmelo Anthony's standpoint. He is an elite world class talent and not being able to win a championship just because the front office isn't doing their job well enough to put fitting pieces around him is just heartbreaking. Anyways, Carmelo Anthony can go to any team but in reality which team is a true title contender? There was some speculation where Carmelo Anthony was going to the Miami Heat but I highly doubt that would happen. But let's say he decides to go play for the Miami Heat. Mark my words, the day he signs a contract with them is the day I quit watching basketball forever. I mean, it's just unfair putting the top players of 2003 draft together. That's like if Blake Griffin, James Harden, Stephen Curry, and DeMar DeRozan decided to play together just because they're great players and from the same draft. LA Lakers could be a possibility, but the Los Angeles Lakers have the exact problem the New York Knicks have. The owner, the roster, injuries, coach, and the years of struggles to come. But let's say Carmelo does play with Kobe. They are both ball dominant players that can score, so seeing that outcome is highly improbable. He could go to the Clippers, but they already have an awesome chemistry together and a stacked roster. The top two teams that Melo can go to are the Houston Rockets and the Chicago Bulls. The only way Houston can get Carmelo Anthony is to move both Amir Ashik and Jeremy Lin to clear the cap space. The big three that consists of James Harden, Carmelo Anthony, and Dwight Howard would be fearsome but questionable. Dwight already complains about not getting enough touches playing second fiddle to James Harden and if Melo comes aboard, ball movement is going to be limited. The only way, in theory, these three can win a championship together is an increase of touches down in the post, and James Harden may have to play as the third option, like in OKC, being the third scoring option, playmaker, and spot-up shooter. In regard to the Chicago Bulls, Melo said it himself that you put anybody in that system and it's going to work. That's what they've been doing. Chicago is already established. They have a superstar point guard and an elite defense system. The only problem with Chicago is scoring and Derrick Rose's ability to play basketball after two severe injuries. With Joe Kim Noah anchoring the defense and Derrick Rose initiating the offense, all Melo has to do is to put the ball in the basket. The only way to make this happen is to amnesty Carlos Boozer and the big three in Chicago that consists of Derrick Rose, Melo, and Joe Kim Noah would be a real threat to the Miami Heat and could potentially win a championship. With two options for Carmelo Anthony to either stay or go, whatever decision he chooses will determine his career for the better or for the worse. But guys, it's just a sports theory. Hit that like button, subscribe for more content, leave a comment down below, and thank you guys for watching.